I am. Uh, I'm starting this week's vlog a little bit late. It is Wednesday evening um, because on Monday, our family dog got run over. She was with a family member who uh, is very irresponsible. I mean, fucking asshole. And he didn't have her on a lead and he was not paying attention to her and looking after her and she bolted into the road and was hit by a car so it wasn't the driver's fault it was the person that was supposed to be looking after her we did not have pet insurance for macy and i had to make decisions i had to i had to kind of take the information the vet was giving us at the time and start weighing up these choices in my head of what we were going to do based on how much it costs, based on the success rate for Macy, based on the quality of life for Macy. And it was really hard. And I, the options at different points were like amputating a leg, uh, an operation that she might not survive or euthanizing her. And that, for me, euthanizing was never going to be an option. I wanted to try and save her. The, the, that was always going to, that would always be the decision I would make, but it would then mean like a steep financial cost to me and uh, potentially she wouldn't survive and I just ugh. anyway we got x-rays at the vets and it turned out not to be a broken leg like they th first thought it was a broken pelvis and because she's such a small dog that potentially could heal on its own like thank god uh, and so they recommended cage rest um, for a few weeks uh, she just isn't allowed to like walk, run and jump because uh, that could dislodge the pieces of the pelvis whereas actually where they're sitting now could fuse back together. So she has to be on cage rest for a few weeks and then we go back to the vet and see how she's getting on. She um, has been eating, she's been drinking, uh, she's weed. We need a poop. We need a poop for, it to, for us to know that that's all intact because you can't see that in an x-ray. We don't know if there's been any damage to her internal organs. But she's bright and she's moving around and, and uh, obviously we're trying not to let her move around, but yeah, she's moving around and it was just, it was so, it's just, just makes you, it just, I've just been sick with it. It's, it's, it's never, it's not decisions or choices I ever want to have to make. And I, I did my best. I think the hardest thing for me is that Ultimately, I was drafted in to clean up somebody else's mess. I have two half-brothers who are older than me that are alcoholics and a big part of my life is cleaning up their messes, dealing with the trauma that they cause for myself and for the people around me and cleaning it up and trying to protect people. And I don't ever talk about them on, on social media because they have addictions. Uh, addiction is a disease. I, it's really, it's a head fuck for me because I have so much compassion and empathy for people dealing with addiction and I know it's not their fault, but the constant fucking carnage I can't deal with. I don't have anything to do with either of them because I can't deal with it. But then as I say, I'm drafted in to fix everything when it goes to shit. And I, it's funny, people on the internet are like, you're so strong, you're so strong because of the things I've told you that I've survived. When in reality, the internet has no fucking idea. I don't think anybody has any fucking idea. And I, I don't want to be like this. I don't want to survive. I want to thrive, right? I just want to live a life. I just want to be happy. I just, I want to have normal worries like normal people. I don't want to have to worry if my brother is going to go to prison or um, he's going to hurt somebody or he's going to, our dog is going to get hurt out of neglect or the house will get smashed up. Like I don't. And I'm 30 years old and this has been my entire life. Alcoholism destroys lives, it's destroyed my brother's lives and so many people around them. It's really hard. It, it really is hard and I, I, I do shut down. The, it's the only way I can, I can get through it. Something bad happens and I am so trained in shutting myself down and 
solving the problem and then moving through life and what will happen is like I can't cry right now <laughs> I want to cry all day I've been trying to cry and I can't and I'll th in three weeks time something really silly is gonna happen or I'm gonna watch a film or just whatever and I'm just gonna completely bawl my eyes out and that's just how I am like I'm off to meet a friend for some drinks tonight because it's her birthday I I've had such an exhausting week I should not go but I I kind of can't because I can't just sit here either. And I'm not gonna cry, I can't cry about it. And this isn't the first time something like this has happened. This is my fucking life. So, I'll, so I just carry on, I go live life as normal. In other news, let's try and lighten the vlog. Uh, I got my nails redone today. And I basically asked for the same design I had last time because I love it so much. This one's a little bit clunkier. It's not as intricate as the lady that did it before. Like it's all the abstract swirls, but the lady before was so like precise and this woman's kind of gone blah, blah, blah. But it's fine, it's fine. Because from far away, I don't think you can tell it's a slapdash job. I also got them so much shorter. Like they were like out here before to get them shorter because I couldn't type at work and I've been like this on a keyboard. So at least now, I can type. I'm off to Spark. I'm gonna have a big Aperol spritz. I'm gonna laugh with a friend. I'm gonna feel normal and we move. Meet my friend from work who is actually based in York. Uh, her name's Kendra and it's her birthday this week. So I just got like a little helium balloon. <laughs> And I'm going to be at Spark first, I think. So I'm going to set it on the table and be like, happy birthday. I was going to get like a bunch of like five balloons, but then they're all quite childish. But I thought she'll just be like, Tabby, what the fuck have you done? <laughs> All right, I have had a morning of meetings, pretty much back to back, which on the one hand is good because time does go very quickly and you know, you just have to listen and contribute kind of a thing. But um, on the other, it, it's still tiring. It's quite draining, isn't it, meetings? Um, listening is tiring and contributing and whatnot. Um, so I'm very tired. Macy is eating. Uh, we haven't had a poo yet. We need a poo to make sure that her pelvis is okay. Um, so I'm just waiting to hear from my mum to see if she's managed that. But she's got her cage and she's sleeping and she's more relaxed and taking her medicine and eating and drinking and weeing. So those are all really good signs. Uh, Dad and I are about to go do our weekly food shop at Aldi, which honestly during the pandemic became a highlight of our social calendars. We never got food delivered. Um, we always went to Aldi to get it because it was just an excuse to leave the house. Uh, and it's become like every Thursday lunch, we go do our Aldi shop. Dad ran out of chocolate a few days ago, so he's been Jones in for an Aldi trip because he just needs more chocolate. We promise there is some veg and actual meals in here. It is not just frozen food and beer. When I am stressed and when I am tired, my room is just the first thing to go. There's just stuff everywhere, do you know what I mean? For no real reason. I could have put half of this away at the time. I just didn't. So let's get started. I have also had a big Matalan delivery because I'm doing an ad with them for Instagram. Um, so featuring in this YouTube video isn't paid for, but I'm gonna do a try on of all the outfits with you so you can you can see what I picked. Um, lots of really lovely summer fun pieces. Macy is pooing and no I don't want a picture of the poo but I am very very happy that she's pooing that is such good news the vet said she needs to do a poo to for us to know that everything inside is working no mother I do not want a picture of 
dog poo. You probably should take one for the vet though. <laughs> I am losing the light so I'm not going to try all that on today but I might show you tomorrow or Saturday um I am so exhausted I'm so exhausted I'm going to um maybe have a bath I've put a pizza in and I'm going to be in bed by nine I'm just I think I might watch something that will make me cry that work week is over thank goodness it's been just a mix of not sleeping because it's hot obviously all the dog stuff and yeah working has been Oh, so I'm just totally knackered. I'm totally knackered, totally drained. I'm gonna nip over to Frankie's um, just for a cup of tea and you know a bit of a chat just to get out of the house and then I'm gonna have a bath and watch the England game with my dad. Say cheese! Cheese! Yeah, glasses. Ow. I go. Oh, thanks. I go. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, pop it all back in the bag. I go. I go. Do I pop it back in the bag? No. No. Okay, I just have this. And. For your finger, like Tabby's rings, look. Tell me. Yeah, look. Tell me. I mean, she's gone through my bag and just helped herself to whatever she wants. This is absolutely like. <laughs> oh, yummy. One for mummy. Good. I have one, Sunny. Yeah. Very chewy. No, they're not. They are? They're squishy. Okay. Very they're squishy. actually, I wonder if it's because it's a little bit warm. Oh, is Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh, it's chuffing hot in York. It's chuffing hot. I'm sorry if you can hear the traffic, but I have to have the window open. I'm absolutely melting. Um, I have just been into town to pick up Dad's Father's Day present. Um, the perfume shop sent me uh, this diesel fragrance uh, to kind of promote the fragrances they were doing for Father's Day. So I'm going to wrap it up for him. Um, and Dad can have that for Father's Day. So thank you, the perfume shop. And then I'm going to show you... I'm going to show you the cookie. I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of myself. I am going to end this vlog here because I have my friend Abby from London on a train on her way We're here. Uh, I'm going to spend the weekend with her. So I just want to be really present in hanging out with Abby. Uh, and then obviously tomorrow's Father's Day. So yes, thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking with me through a really emotional week. I am. I'm still just so tired and... Uh, yeah i will keep you updated on mercy um and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time bye 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 bye, bye.